The Army's Extended Range Cannon Artillery, ERCA, system under development hit a target 43 miles away, or 70 kilometers, on the nose at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona, using an Excalibur Extended Range Guided Artillery Shell, according to the general who is overseeing the service's long-range precision fires modernization. I don't think our adversaries have the ability to hit a target on the nose at 43 miles, Brig General John Rafferty, who was in charge of the effort, told a small group of reporters in a teleconference immediately following the test. The Army is racing to extend artillery ranges on the battlefield to take away advantages of high-end adversaries like Russia. The ERCA cannon, when fielded, should be able to fire and take out targets from a position out of the range of enemy systems. The ERCA cannon takes an M109A7 Paladin Integrated Management, PIM, howitzer chassis and replaces the 39 caliber gun tube with a 58 caliber, 30 foot one. Combined with Raytheon-made Excalibur munitions and an XM1113 using supercharged propellant, the Army has been able to dramatically boost artillery ranges. In March, the Army inched closer to the ultimate goal of 70 kilometers when it took two shots, both reaching 65 kilometers in range. In this test, the Army took three shots. The first shot came up short due to very high headwinds at a high altitude and the second shot had a hardware failure, but the third shot proved that the service is getting closer to dialing in on the right balance between propellant, projectile design, and other factors that play into achieving greater distances, Rafferty said. This demonstration is not a destination, Colonel Tony Gibbs, the Army's program manager for combat artillery system, told reporters. This is really just a waypoint in our ongoing campaign of learning as we work to really realign U.S. supremacy in cannon artillery. It's definitely a big knowledge point for us today. Each munition fired during Saturday's event had slight design differences to address how best to design and prepare the round to absorb the high pressure and force of being fired at 1,000 meters per second from a gun tube of ERCA's caliber, Rafferty said. What was consistent was the propellant configuration, he added. So we got that propellant configuration, I think dialed in really close down, which is great. The first shot, due to the winds, fell short by roughly 100 meters, which, Rafferty said, sounds like a lot, but is closer when considering when the munition has to travel 70,000 meters. The Army knew the first shot would come up short due to wind, but wanted to take it anyway in order to learn from it. The second shot, the Army had modified the hardware configuration and experienced a hardware failure, Gibbs confirmed. Specifically, the Army added an isolator for the inertial measurement unit, which is essentially a shock absorber to counter the pressure spike in the chamber. 